It's impressive how times are changing rapidly. Who would have thought five years ago that electric cars would become so important, many of them coming directly from China? The automotive industry is one of those that has seen the most innovations and revolutions and the future promises even more surprises. One of the most impressive innovations we've seen recently is the addition of humanoid robots on the vehicle assembly and inspection lines. And it seems we will soon see another function for humanoids, selling and attending to human customers and dealerships. Omoda and GQ introduced More 9, a humanoid robot that will be a true multifunctional assistant in dealerships. Morning's debut is scheduled for before July in China, and it will soon be implemented in Cherry dealerships worldwide, including in Spain. This robot is the result of a partnership between the automotive giant Cherry and the technology company iMoga Robot. With a futuristic look, full of LED lights and a female face, Morning impresses from the first glance. Its functions range from customer service when purchasing a vehicle to providing guidance on maintenance services and handing over car keys. Although it still walks like someone in a hurry to the bathroom, it moves using both legs and doesn't have a scary appearance. Tandoi. Currently, Morning communicates in English, but future updates will allow it to speak other languages. The technology of humanoid robots is advancing rapidly and spreading throughout the automotive industry. This new robot catches attention not only for its design, which combines silicone and light alloys, but also for its abilities. Although still quite stiff, it walks, moves its arms, twists its waist, nods its head, and speaks. All thanks to a sophisticated control algorithm equipped with a general artificial intelligence model. More 9 offers a unique interaction experience, adapting to the specific needs of each client. The robot is prepared to operate in various scenarios, from basic stores to shopping centers. Its main function will be to offer professional consultations and product promotions. At the ecological press conference held at Omoda's headquarters in China, Morning will interact directly with guests, providing an immersive and intelligent experience. This launch will not only give us a glimpse of the future, but also show that as the universe ecosystem refines, Omoda is already prepared to offer personalized services, moving towards a future full of innovations and possibilities. What if I told you there is a project to build an entire starship each day? Would you believe it? After the success with the last Starship flight, SpaceX is investing $100 million in building the Star Factory, a new facility that promises to revolutionize the production of Starships. The rocket factory's construction started in February and is expected to be operational in the coming months. This new facility will add 9,000 square meters of space to the factory, helping SpaceX achieve its ambitious goal of producing a Starship per day. Yes, you heard right, one Starship per day with the primary goal of colonizing Mars. During a live broadcast from SpaceX, quality systems engineering manager Kate expressed her enthusiasm saying, when you enter this factory, it's truly inspiring. My heart leaps from my chest. This expansion will allow SpaceX to significantly increase its production rate with the goal of producing Starship version two very soon. Starship V2 will be easier to mass produce, have greater propellant capacity, higher reliability, and lower dry weight. There will also be aerodynamic improvements to optimize its performance. Jesse Anderson, SpaceX's Falcon Structures Manufacturing Engineering Manager, announced that there are already new Super Heavy boosters ready for the next test, with more coming off the production line. Those who have visited Starbase in person say it's like a hive of construction. Currently, more than 1,800 human employees work full-time at Starbase, making it a major source of income in the area. The construction of Starbase began in 2018 at the top of Boca Chica Village, and at the time, Elon Musk commented on the Starbase location saying, We have a lot of land with no one around, so if it explodes, it's okay. In March 2021, an explosion did happen, taking three months to clean up. On the occasion, Musk tweeted about the incident, At least the crater is in the right place. After all this evolution, a glimpse of the future is shown here. I am eager to see the hundreds or thousands of Starship ships being built and possibly, as the goal is, flying towards Mars. And you, tell me what you expect from all this technology. For the first time in the world, China has completed the installation of an $18 million wind turbine. This historic feat was achieved by Dongfang Electric Corporation, a state-owned giant in the power generation sector, and it happened on June 5th.
As countries increasingly seek alternatives to fossil fuels and increase their reliance on renewable energies, wind turbines are getting a major boost to harness the powerful winds, especially near seas and oceans. Manufacturers are building larger and more efficient turbines capable of providing energy for thousands of homes with a single movement of their blades. At the China Wind Power event in October last year, Dongfang unveiled its 18 Memdabler wind turbine models, considered the most powerful in the world. And now, less than a year later, they have successfully completed the installation of this giant infrastructure. To get an idea of the magnitude of this feat, consider that the diameter of the turbine's rotor alone is an impressive 260 meters, with the turbine sweeping a total area of 53,000 square meters, something that, according to the company, is larger than seven football fields. The estimate is that this turbine will generate 72 million kilowatt of energy annually, enough to power 36,000 homes, all without burning 22,000 tons of coal, as is currently done to produce that amount of energy, thus avoiding the emission of 59,000 tons of carbon. But Dongfang is not alone in this race. Minyang Smart Energy is also planning to install its 18 memdollar turbines, which could potentially reach over 20 memdollars on windy days. Last year, a 16 memdollar turbine generated 384 memdollar of energy in 24 hours, enough to power 170,000 homes. The speed and innovation of Chinese manufacturers, whether you like it or not, are impressing the world with offshore turbines being installed in just 24 hours. Based on what we've seen in recent years, it's no surprise that the world's largest turbine came from an Asian country. If you thought NVIDIA was already revolutionizing the world of technology with its AI chips, well, it's not only betting big on artificial intelligence, but also redefining the rules of the game. On the Computex 2024 stage, CEO Jensen Huang made it clear NVIDIA is at the forefront of graphics computing, simulations, and artificial intelligence with a passion for innovation. He highlighted how NVIDIA's GPUs are leaving CPUs behind and how the company has become a true giant in the current technological landscape, and they want to go further. NVIDIA is bringing something that will make gamers thrilled. Imagine having an AI assistant that not only understands your voice commands, but also analyzes your game screen and offers relevant tips. Introducing Project G-Assist, a revolution in the gaming world powered by the powerful RTX GPUs. They have become one of the most talked about topics on social media in recent days. And don't think NVIDIA's AI will be limited to games. Jensen Huang stated that the company is paving the way for a new era where not only humanoid robots, but also digital humans can become an integral part of our daily lives. With NVIDIA NIM, a set of generative AI microservices Creating realistic digital humans has never been easier, said Huang. But wait, there's more. They are bringing updates to their RTX Remix modding tools, allowing developers to create even more immersive and realistic visual experiences. Since its launch, NVIDIA has led the PC revolution with artificial intelligence. And now, with Project G-Assist and NVIDIA ACE, they are unlocking a new world of possibilities for millions of users around the globe. Are you ready to witness the future of technology? Because NVIDIA says it is interested in leading the way in the convergence between artificial intelligence and graphics computing, promoting great advances and raising the bar in the technology industry. As I mentioned earlier, times are changing rapidly. Who would have thought that robotic technology would become such an important ally in police and rescue operations? Well, police and search and rescue forces around the world are increasingly using robots to assist their operations. And now, the Dutch police are about to take a big step in this direction. They are considering using autonomous robot dogs powered by artificial intelligence in operations to dismantle drug labs. That's right. These robots will be used to protect human agents from criminal risks, dangerous chemicals, and explosions. The Dutch police force conducts this type of operation at least three to four times a week, and the idea is to keep human officers out of harm's way while they dismantle equipment in illegal labs. Simon Prince explained that when the lab is in operation and you interrupt it, it can explode. Normally, if people enter wearing protective suits, they can't move very fast and can only work inside for 20 minutes. Since 2021, the police have been using Spot, a quadruped equipped with a robotic arm from Boston Dynamics, aimed at conducting drug raids and surveillance. However, the robot dog is remotely controlled by a human operator, 
The interesting thing is that Spot can pass through doors and other small obstacles using cameras and sensors, while its robotic arm is controlled to perform the necessary tasks. In recent years, these quadruped robots have undergone significant technological advances, allowing them to navigate various terrains, withstand extreme temperatures, and perform more complex tasks. This has led the Dutch force to explore fully autonomous operations with Spot, meaning the robot will receive the mission and carry it out on its own. The idea is that these robots inspect labs, ensure no criminals are present, map the area, and identify dangerous chemicals, all to prevent injuries to human officers. Although the use of autonomous robots raises safety and policy concerns that require extensive testing, if all goes according to plan, the spot dog will soon be tested in real lab raids. Using integrated cameras and other complementary payloads, the robot can conduct laser scans and visual, thermal, radiation, and acoustic inspections. So, did you like this news? Share your opinion on what awaits us in this future. Tim Cook, CEO of the tech giant Apple, revealed the company's latest and, in his words, revolutionary artificial intelligence technology, named Apple Intelligence. This major innovation was announced during WWDC 2024, Apple's annual developer conference. But the surprises don't stop there. In another surprising announcement, Cook confirmed that ChatGPT access will be allowed on Apple devices through the Siri Assistant. That's right, now using Siri, you can access OpenAI's ChatGPT whenever you want. The virtual assistant will ask for permission before sharing your queries with ChatGPT, and after your confirmation, it will provide responses from OpenAI's chatbot. And coming from Apple, it's surprising that this access will be free, but it's true. And moreover, it won't require creating a new account. The integration with ChatGPT is expected to happen later this year. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, celebrated the partnership on Twitter right after the announcement, showing high expectations for this collaboration. The new AI, Apple Intelligence, promises to bring many innovations for iPhone and iPad users. With this technology, Siri will be able to recognize which notifications are most important to you. Besides offering text improvements within apps, generating images and performing tasks across different apps. All this will be possible thanks to cloud-based models using special servers with Apple Silicon, ensuring your data remains private and secure. Additionally, Apple announced iOS 18, its latest operating system, allowing users to further customize their home screens, reorganize apps, change colors, and much more. It also includes privacy updates and an important feature that allows sending messages via satellite. And now, straight from another world, this news will make you stop and think. Jokes aside, the universe is full of strange radio signals, but now astronomers have detected a truly bizarre signal. It repeats every hour and goes through three different states. And what is most impressive is that this phenomenon cannot yet be explained by our current understanding of physics. This mysterious signal first appeared in data collected by the ASCAP radio telescope in Australia, which scans a vast portion of the sky in search of transient pulses. The signal was officially designated ASCAP J1935-2148 and seems to repeat every 53.8 minutes. But what is most intriguing are its three distinct states. Sometimes it emits bright flashes lasting between 10 to 50 seconds with linear polarization. Other times, its pulses are much weaker with circular polarization and last only 370 milliseconds. And at times, the signal simply disappears and remains in total silence. The Meerkat radio telescope in South Africa was crucial in distinguishing these states. If the signals did not originate from the same point in the sky, no one would believe it was the same object producing these different signals. And what could be behind such a strange radio signal? Let's clarify this quickly. It's probably not aliens. The most likely explanation, according to scientists, is that the signal comes from a neutron star or a white dwarf. But even so, it's not a clear solution, as the strange properties of the signal do not fit our current understanding of these objects. Neutron stars and white dwarfs are born from the death of larger stars. Neutron stars are known to emit radio waves regularly, but they usually spin at very high speeds, making it physically impossible to spin as slowly as once every 54 minutes. White dwarfs could spin that slowly, but we know of no way they could produce the radio signals we are seeing here. And this is not the first repeated radio signal that has puzzled scientists. 
There was another one found a few years ago with an 18-minute cycle, which should also have been impossible. And this new signal is not only longer, but also more complex, which only deepens the mystery. Whether the signal comes from an unusual neutron star, a white dwarf pulsar, or something entirely different, we can only answer with more observations. And depending on what we discover, it might even lead us to reconsider our decades-old understanding of neutron stars or white dwarfs and how they emit these radio waves. Did you enjoy this video? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow and gain more relevance on YouTube. This way, our content reaches more tech lovers. Thank you very much for following us and see you in the next video.